Hello, dear YouTubers. Uh, before I speak, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come before you. Please open our ears to hear and our mouths to speak the Word of God. In Jesus' name, and give us understanding of your Word, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask that you please uh, preserve us, save us, heal our land, heal us. Lord, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let many people come back to Christ. In Jesus' name, and get us ready for the rapture of the church. In Jesus' name, Father. Uh, and Father, if those who are not ready, Father, help them to have the knowledge of Jesus Christ, Father, in their lives so that they can hear and understand, Father, and be saved, Lord, and not receive the mark of the beast if it comes. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask that you please, the Lord, guide every word, every thought uh, by your Holy Spirit instead of demons and devils. And Father, we bind and bind all the dirty demonic spirits, devils, and all the spirits of wickedness in Jesus name we bind them by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus name and we cast them out in Jesus my name I pray glory God glory God hallelujah thank you Jesus father uh, let your words word be established in our hearts to do them in Jesus name I pray glory God amen and increase our faith Lord <clears throat> okay well recently I I was praying with five people in my home this Saturday and um well jesus said to me um this is what i heard was that i'm coming soon to rapture my church to take those who are ready and to take those who are ready was the thing i'm just wondering um are you ready for jesus christ do you even know what that ready being ready means if you read Matthew chapter 22, verse around 11, um, it talks about the wedding, wedding of the Lamb, marriage of the Lamb, marriage of the Son of, Son of God, who is Jesus Christ, and Jesus is marrying the church, and the guests are all invited, and a lot of people are um, too busy with their lives, so they reject the wedding, and they take it lightly, like you might take my message lightly and take it like not seriously you know if you not take it seriously you will not be ready because all those people that did not take it seriously God sent his armies to destroy them and he destroyed them and burned their cities and stuff like that it's written in the Bible don't don't feel like I'm gonna bro I'm not gonna do anything um well and then Jesus sends his servants again and then they gather more people for the wedding and then they are in and that means church has been raptured and they're in the wedding and the king looks at the person who has no wedding garment on and says hey where's your wedding garment and that person was speechless cannot speak anything have no excuse because when the truth speaks to you you have no excuse you, you cannot speak any excuse because when the truth penetrates you cannot say anything. It's like the truth is like on your face. Where is your garment? And obviously you don't even have that garment. You don't even know what the garment means. And the truth is like you're not, you're unprepared. You're not ready. So what happens to that man is God takes that, tells his servants to take him, take him out into outer darkness where there is gnashing and weeping. Oh, uh, gnashing of teeth and weeping. So, we don't want to be in that situation, right? I mean, you know Jesus Christ. If you know Jesus Christ, um, you know you have to get ready for His coming. And I don't know when He's going to come. Nobody knows He's going to come whenever He wants to, right? But um, another lady in our prayer meeting had another vision where um, Jesus is holding this bowl, bowl of wrath, where it's filled up with sins of the world and Jesus is holding it and it's filled to the brim with sin you know and then Jesus is holding this thing and he said this is held by our prayers of the saints so this wrath of God that the destruction of God uh, should be poured out and Jesus is holding it and and she said God is a God of peace not of destruction but if he needs to be destroying the earth it's because of our sins is built it up and is filled to the brim 
you know, and the judge must do what is righteous, you know, and, and if, it, if it has to come down to, to destruction of the world, which is already happening, by the way, which is already, you know, you see the news, you see, oh, come on, you know, it's like everywhere, earthquakes everywhere, disasters everywhere, some pestilence and all these kind of things, right? So you know that's already there. So Jesus is, is, is holding this big, huge destruction. And, and she said, maybe, she said, maybe the rapture, you know, of the saints, since if the saints, all of them are raptured, those people who are ready, who are always praying, all the prayer words, if they get raptured up, nobody's going to be praying for the stop, stopping of this destruction anymore. And she said she feels as if, if the rapture happens, then nobody being able to pray anymore, so Jesus will let go. And all that uh, destruction will be poured out onto the earth. And then there'll be chaos and disaster in all those places and everywhere. So, uh, <clears throat> we got to get ready for the coming of Jesus Christ. And, you know, like if you watch my other videos, I said uh, the, the calling away will not happen unless the temple in Israel is rebuilt. The Solomon's temple, the original temple of God, had, must be rebuilt. Right? And then the Antichrist rise and go into there. So um, I'm, not, I'm not sure when that will be, when the rapture of the church will be, but you know, when you see those things happening. And they said that the Temple Institute has everything ready. They have all the stones ready, all the things ready. Every, they even have the, the genetically, genetically uh, produced red heifer which is a cow kind of thing when they sacrifice a pure 100 percent pure red heifer um and they got that ready and so i don't know what they're waiting for maybe the ark of the covenant may, must be there and uh i'm not sure what what must be next but when you see the signs and the stars and the sun and the moon which are coming and it's not me predicted it's the nasa predicted all this stuff and when you see all these things coming, Kamen Hyacinth coming, all this stuff, you know, you know that it's time to get ready to go to our home, which is heaven. Okay, we're not going to stay on this earth forever. It's even that uh, no man's life is promised yesterday, tomorrow. It's, it, tomorrow is not promised. You know, we can, we, some of them might not live till tomorrow. To the next day it's time to get ready and then the white garment if you don't know anything you can watch my uh, previous videos but basically how to search it is you go to biblegateway.com or something like that and then just type in white garment or white raiment r-a-i-m-e-n-t search those up and read those too what is that and it's the righteous righteous acts of the saints which is us who are the saints those who believe in jesus christ those who confess that Jesus Christ came in the flesh and we are of God if you confess such thing and I confess that right now so um, you know test all spirits not everybody is a true prophet prophetess and there are a lot of deceivers out there just because they make YouTube videos does not mean that they're of God you know what I'm saying you gotta test the spirits whether they speak is according to the Word of God whether they speak righteousness and holiness, you know, because the Bible says so, right? Um, let's go to Revelation chapter 20. Twenty-one, verse eight. But the cowardly, unbelieving, abominable. Murderers, sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. It's interesting. You know, it says the cowardly. Okay, this cannot apply to uh, sinners because being coward, cowardly has nothing to do with sinners. But it has something to do with believers. You know why? Because if you're a cowardly believer of Jesus Christ, you wouldn't 
speak the name of Jesus Christ and evangelize to others. You know, it does not go with any sinners because sinners they don't doesn't have they don't need to be either cowardly or brave to enter into hell. They they are already going to hell. Okay, but this is for believers because only a cowardly believer will not profess the name of Jesus Christ, will not try to save souls because they are afraid of people's opinion about that, that they are cowardly to speak out the truth to them. You know, so these are the cowardly people that Jesus is talking, this is talking about believers. So any believer who is cowardly, unbelieving, abominable, murderous, sexually immoral, who, who practice sorceries, idolaters, who are, uh, and all liars shall have their part in the lake of which burns a fire and spill. So just because you believe in Jesus Christ, you know, you have to have faith in Christ. What is faith? Faith is, I looked it up. I looked it up. You can look at Google up right now too, if you want to. Faith, listen, is the duty of fulfilling one's trust. It's a duty of fulfilling one's trust. If you have faith in Jesus Christ, then do your duty of fulfilling his trust. You know, fulfill your duty. You say you trust Jesus, you 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 cling on to Jesus. Anybody Bible says in first John, anybody that does not do righteousness is not of God. But those who do righteousness is born of God. You know? And further on, um, this warning is always strong. Um Revelation 22, verse 10. Do not seal the words of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. He who is unjust, let him be unjust still. He who is filthy, let him be filthy still. He who is righteous, let him be righteous still. He who is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me, to give to everyone according to his work. You know, so it again says, you know, he who is unjust, let him be. Yeah, and then verse 14. Blessed are those who do his commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter through the gates into the city. But, outside, but, there's a strong but, okay? But, outside are dogs and sorcerers and sexually immoral and murderers and idolaters, and whoever loves and practices a lie, they will not. You know, you, you practice living unrighteously, you practice that like in a daily life, and you don't repent. You don't come to Jesus to ask you, oh Jesus, forgive me, strengthen me. Then you'll be cast out, you know. If you don't practice, you know, uh, righteousness in your life, holiness in your life, you're not born of God. You're a slave of sin. And you're not slave of Christ. Those people who are slave of Christ, they would willingly go and practice righteousness. The slave of unrighteousness will do the other. Which one are you? It's very clear, you know? And if you're uh, struggling with sin, be humble, seek God with all your life, everything. Pray, pray, pray. Bind the demons in Jesus' name. Cast them out in Jesus' name. For whoever is not against us is for us. Cast them out. Those demons, all they do is put pornographic thoughts into your head. They put lustful thoughts into your head, hateful thoughts into your head. All they do is all day long put those thoughts into you. So you, you keep on feeding, feeding, feeding on those thoughts. And guess what? You start committing them. Bind demons in Jesus' name. Cast them out. And pray Pray, pray, pray in the Spirit of God. Pray in tongues. If you don't have tongues, ask, ask, ask. And you so, it shall be given unto you. Keep on asking. Why are you giving up? Don't give up. Be persistent in asking for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And we're like, oh, well, John 3, 16. Oh, whoever so believeth on the, uh, uh, on, the, on the Son of God will have everlasting life, right? Well, let's see what John... 3 9 says, you know, and verily, verily, I say unto you, 
unless you are born of water and in spirit, no man shall enter the kingdom of God. Right? Let me just check. Sorry if I'm quoting it wrong, but I think I'm, I'm pretty correct. Let's go. Let's go. Um, oh, John 3, 11. Most assuredly I say to you, Oh no, it is, it is verse. Mm, it's verse 5. John 3, 5. Most assuredly, most assuredly I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. So you got to be born again. Is your life really born again? Check. Whether the life that you've been living before and the life that you're living now, is this, is this same? Then you're not born again. Is it totally different? Like back in the day, you must commit a lot of sins, but today you give those up, you give them up, and you're living for Christ, and you're, you're, you're living for the kingdom of God, and you're praying, you're seeking God. Now your, your life has to have a total cha change. If you do not have this change in your life, you're not born again of the Spirit. You know? That should be a clear sign. Born again means you are born in this fleshly bad person, you know, that, that you are in. And then this thing died on the cross. You, you, you let it crucified on the cross. And now you live for Christ. And it's a totally totally changed person because you're a new person right now when you're born again. If you're not this new person living for Christ, then you're not born again. Okay, that's what born again is. If you're born of the Spirit of God, you will do what the Spirit tells you to do. Me, I used to be a hardcore rocker listening to all this kind of hard rock metal, new metal, all this kind of things. And I used to party, 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 drink, 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 smoke, 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 uh, hang out with girls, fornicate, watch porn, uh, just fornicate with girls, and that's how I used to be. But now I forget that kind of lifestyle. I came out and then I turned back on my, my back on all those things, and even my old friends that are leading me uh, to to commit those things. And I and I left them all, and then now now my life is totally change this is an example of a, a born again christian life you know and if you commit sins don't give up don't give up who told you to give up continue praying yeah in the beginning you'll fall you'll fall and you might mess up and you might commit some sins true come back to jesus christ much more stronger don't give up and don't give up oh i failed hundred thousand times i'm not worthy anymore you know Come back to God. Come back. Stronger this time. Cut off all those things that are causing you to sin. And if you don't know where the cause is coming from, it's from the demons. Cast them out in Jesus' name. Demons, rebuke them. Rebuke those demons. Those are dogs. Those are like cats. Are you afraid of them to cast them out? You're higher in, 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 in authority and rank. If a person, let's say, isn't it funny like a person who's full-grown, Fully grown person is afraid of cats or dogs that are like little tiny puppies and oh, I'm afraid of. Isn't that kind of funny? Isn't it funny for a Christian to be afraid of demons and devils? Right? And if you're afraid of them, something's really wrong with you. You don't know your identity. You don't know that who's greater is in you. You don't know Jesus is in you. And that's, a, that's, not, not, that's not a healthy sign of a good Christian. You know, not knowing who you are in Christ. And I just want to give another glory unto Jesus Christ. That recently, you know, Halloween, I hope you didn't celebrate and partake with the demon festival. Well, we are praying against this demon festival. And we are praying, oh Lord, do something. Let it rain. Let it be cold. And uh, so that people will not participate in this devil festival. Halloween. It's what it is. Devil's festival. If you're a son of devil, you participate. If you're children of Satan, you participate. 
Oh, well, like I didn't know about it. Well, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. If you did not know this, you had no knowledge of God. No knowledge of the God in the land. That's why they're participating in it without knowing that that is a day of the dead, a, the devil's day. And you're celebrating devil's day with them? And you call yourself Christian? You should repent and ask God for mercy to open your eyes unto the truth. Because that means you don't know God. You cannot partake the cup of the demons and the cup of the Lord. Don't you know what is written? God is not black and white mixed together. He's light. No darkness can mingle with light. Let no darkness mingle with you in your life. You know, oh, it's okay, it's for the children's culture, it's children's festival. Oh, they just want candies. Well, just buy them candies. Don't make them dress up like devils and go them and beg for, for, for some demon candy, demon, um, you know, all the devil worshippers, they curse the candies. Well, anyway, so we we're praying against this day. And guess what? In Chicago, at land, land where, where I live at least, it rained the whole day. It's raining, 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 raining the whole day. I just cannot think. And only that day, it rained, 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 rained. Gloomy, gloomy, gloomy. It was, it's just raining. So I was like, oh, yeah, so most, most people probably got discouraged to go outside because it's raining in their, in their devil costume. Yeah, it is what it is. It's devil's costume. What? Wearing pointy hats like the witches and the warlocks who worship the devil? You want to dress your children? Like people who worship the devil, who worship Satan, and offer sacrifices of living people's blood to the devil, you like your children to wear that, don't you? And you call yourself Christian. Be ashamed of you. You should be ashamed of yourself. Stand up for the truth, you know? God is not honoring that. Neither those people who honor the Halloween. And celebrate it if you didn't know you should know better just because you don't know the law does not mean you're not gonna get a ticket on the highway you will get a ticket whether you knew it or not you know, oh, I didn't know like it was wrong to kill a person well just because you didn't know you're not gonna get punished you will so ask for forgiveness that the Lord have mercy on your soul Amen. If whoever partakes of the devil's cup and idolatry, all this sorcery, this witchcraft, oh, God hates that the most. It's in like the top second commandment of God. Or is it, is it the first? Yeah, do not have any other gods before me. Don't have any other gods before the Lord. It could be you. It could be whatever. I was like, oh, I didn't know while I was participating, you know. Well, now you know. If you now you know and you should repent and ask for forgiveness and get yourself ready with your white garments cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ and when you confess your sins to Jesus Christ he is just to forgive you and I hope you're ready before his time comes before the time comes of the rapture and it'll be too late you know then if you get left behind do not receive the mark of the beast nor worship the Antichrist or his image or anything that it that calls itself God when they're not. Do not ever worship those things. And you stand firm and don't ever get the chip. So don't worship them. Don't worship the Antichrist. Don't bow down to him. Don't, you know, just die. And that they just get killed. Because it's better that you get killed than to be alive and receive all those marks and then to go to hell. Okay? Just, just when that thing happens, best thing that can happen to you is that you die as a martyr who stood up for Jesus Christ and have repented of your sins, okay? So just in case if you get left behind, you know, best thing is to get killed, okay? <sighs> I, I hate to say this, but, but if you are left behind, man, you gotta know how to go to heaven because there is a chance. There is a chance still, you know? Don't bow down to the devil's image. If they tell you, put a gun on your head, tell you to bow down and worship that devil and the devil's image or whatever and get the mark beast you could say no and rather get shot and die than then receive all those things okay best thing to happen to you when when you get left behind is to die really 
really, you know. Uh, so, uh, dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I warned them as he, as he spoke through me. Father, in the name of Jesus, please bless them. Change their life. Let them be born again in spirit and in truth. And help us all to repent of all our sins and come to you, Jesus. In Jesus' my name, they, we just thank you for everything that you have given us and provided us. Father, we just bless your name and we just bless the saints and all the children of God. In Jesus' my name, hallelujah, hallelujah. We just thank you, God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Save us in Jesus' name and help us to be raptured in that day. And let none of us be left behind, those who believe in you and those who, those who heed your word and do them. In Jesus' name we pray. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen.